Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Monolith. Let's start a run. Uh, do we have any money left to spend? No, I have no idea what I last spent my money on, but let's start a new run here. I've been told that uh, Pulsar Shotgun Wide is apparently extremely good. Very, very, very good DPS, so I would actually like to pick that up on this run, but otherwise this is just a, well, kind of just a practice run. A practice run and also just a run to see how far we can get Vulcan Ricochet Homing, no thank you. But buying an extra bomb for 400 might actually be pretty good, especially if we can kind of uh, turn that into potentially getting a little bit of an, a little bit of extra HP just by not taking damage. Get rid of these portals. Apparently, I, I asked the developer, you know, put a bug report in about the. Uh, about the weird portal glitch that I saw on the last episode, I mentioned it. Apparently he said that it's not a bug, or at least it's just not important, so. It's kind of a, a weird thing, but, you know, I guess as long as you just don't try to dodge along a corner wall trying to get around a portal, you won't ever interact with that bug at all, so I'm just gonna have to keep that in mind, I suppose. Stealth? Plating discount. I do like the idea of picking up discount early, but we we'll be able to buy a lot more things. But we could also just pick up plating, and via plating we can get basically plus three HP. If we had even one more HP upgrade, I think you would get plus four, maybe? But regardless. Regardless, I will pick up plus three HP. That's the, the best thing from the uh, the upgrade. I don't like getting plating because it doesn't give you anything permanently. Like, I know it is a permanent HP upgrade, but it doesn't give you, like, extra invincibility, it doesn't give you, uh, you know, better damage, doesn't give you things that can really, really make, oh shit, really, really make your run outstanding. It just gives you a little bit more HP. Even focus, I think, is much better, because at least with focus you can, uh, keep yourself from taking a lot of extra damage. But whatever. We will take it, and we will, we will be happy to take it. Gotta try to find the secret room. Could it have been there? Yeah, it could have been there. I guess it is gonna probably be to the left of this room. There we go. And I won't go to the secret room yet. I will try to keep exploring a little bit more. I do wanna try to maybe get like a, a good weapon before I fight the boss, we do have the weapon location. Someone told me that blinking destructible bo uh, blocks give you money, but I think it's just that a blinking destructible block is close to being killed. Same thing with enemies, when you hit it a few times and then you turn away, like they'll start blinking as an indicator that they are about to die. I think that's what that is. But maybe there is a way of getting money out of blocks if you uh, are paying attention to what blocks are blinking, potentially. So the fact that there is a vault here means that we're probably going to get a uh, we're probably going to get a vault key from either either the secret room or this weapon terminal. I'm going to go to the secret room first though because the secret room contains a weapon. I'm probably going to want to pick that up before I open the weapon terminal. And indeed, we did get overheat shrapnel backblast, which seems like it could be pretty good. And now theoretically, we will get the vault key. Vulcan Piercing Triple, Sword Knockback Reflective, it's not giant, otherwise I wouldn't take it, and Revolver Ricochet Shotgun. So we're gonna take the Vault Key, we're gonna go to the Vault Door. Um, let's fight the boss first, actually. We've got a nice Fireball, I wanna use this against the Guardian here. This guy is a pain in the butt. Did I hit him? Did I do like contact damage with him? That's annoying. This guy's a pain in the ass because he like slowly approaches you from on the bottom of the screen as you're fighting him. I find that really annoying. I don't really know how to deal with that. Should I try to go behind him and push him up? Or should I not do that? I actually just don't know. We get ammo, damage, and a max HP upgrade. If that if I had that on every floor, I would be so happy. Because <laughs> that's actually really good. Ricochet homing. I don't need that for 2,000 gold. I'm just gonna take one HP. Should have also probably bought the time bomb before I went in there and fought the boss, but you know what? What's done is done. Fireball, uh, area of effect, overheat, I think is what it's called. It's actually a pretty good upgrade. I like having fireball. If 
Fireball Triple, I think, is probably a little bit better, but this is okay for now. And we'll just slowly recover our HP, and ideally, I don't know, ideally, maybe we'll want to, uh, to get HP drops from our mini-boss fights, because we are not at full HP right now. I don't really care for the fireball that just shoots bullets out of the uh, the landing, because that seems to do such such little damage. It doesn't seem to be that... Not effective, but it doesn't seem to be that uh, big, outstanding, you know? Like, whatever, you shoot a little bit of bullets. Sure. You have something that maybe is a little bit more uh, interesting, powerful. Maybe a triple shot would be better. I don't know. You got a monocle. I do like just kind of tossing in a shot and letting it kill an enemy, you know, letting it do damage over time. That's always nice. Increases maximum ammo, fireball triple freeze. You see, that's more what I'm thinking about. Fireball triple shot, plus freeze, slowing enemies on hits. We'll lose the AoE effect from overheat and we'll lose the, uh, is that overheat? No, that's overheat. We'll lose the, uh, the bullets that come out of the gun, out of the, the explosion. But maybe we'll gain by getting triple shot from fireball. Maybe it'll be better at killing bosses, which usually is is what I want. I want something that's good at killing bosses, as opposed to killing rooms. Rooms tend tend to be pretty easy, unless you're dealing with unless you're dealing with mini bosses or just particularly difficult enemies. Yo, can you just like die? Thank you should have waited on using that uh, bomb that I had used in the shop or in the room next to the shop because. Turned out that that was not the location of the secret room, and I knew that just by going to that second to last room that we were in. Extra power, discount, focus. I think I want focus. I know myself, and I know that on boss fights in the future, on the Overlord, on the Monolith, I'm going to desperately want as much HP as possible, even if that HP is just, uh, is just from taking less damage over time. Razor Giant Burst. I really like Razor, and this is extremely efficient on ammo. Giant, extra large, burst, fires in short bursts. I do like the damage upgrade, though. I mean, we're okay with Fireball for now, but maybe I'll take that at the end of the floor. I don't know. I really like the idea of picking up that upgrade, though. Is that a secret room right here? Should actually check the walls. We'll open it up anyways, we'll come back to it later. I hate this. Um, okay, I see, I see what the problem is. The problem is we gotta go over here. <laughs> that was an interesting one. I had to I had to go to the teleporter, but I had to figure out where the teleporter was. Okay, okay. This is annoying. I'm dead yet? He's not dead. Seems to just do a like not enough damage. This fireball. We could take a look at the weapon crate to see what we can get. Thunderhead. I've not had Thunderhead yet. What the hell is this? Charges faster. Backblast. Knocks enemies back on fire or something. I see. It's like an area of effect blast. So we fire out this blast, and it does an area of. OE damage, I think. No? What the hell does this thing do? I mean, I want to try it. It's area denial, so it makes... Ah, there you go. I get it. This actually seems like it could be an extremely good weapon. I dodged into him because, again, I'll do that. Until I get it through my head that this is not Gungeon and we do not have invincibility or blink. Okay. It doesn't seem to be particularly damaging, but it is probably going to be good on rooms. I have no blank, so I just got to dodge. I mean, that was pretty good, but it used up way too much ammo. Used up like 50 shots, nearly like a third of the capacity to kill a boss. I think that this gun is just not good enough. One bomb. I will take it. Um, we've already done that. Fireball triple freeze is good. Increases maximum ammo could be good. Plus 20% maximum capacity. We have 130 right now. I feel like I would rather spend the money though on damage, which is permanent. And we could also get Razor Giant Burst, which is honestly kind of similar to this, is that 
The Razor will pierce through enemies, do damage on the way out, do damage on the way back. It's very, very, very similar. So yeah, let's get the, uh, let's get the damage. Let's get the Razor. We got three Razors, which is actually pretty good. And then extra, ah, do we even need ammo? Not with this weapon, but we might need ammo in the future. We ha Do we have extra shop prices? No, we don't. 2188 for 10%, 2700 for 20% capacity. I'm gonna pick this up for the ammo capacity. And we're done. Okay. I, I do like Giant. I do like Giant Razor. I'm still interested in potentially finding... Ooh, I mean this is okay. I'm still interested in potentially finding a uh, giant uh, chair, not chariot, facade? A giant facade reflective uh, razor ability, but that'll have to happen, you know, naturally on its own. It's still all right. It's probably still very efficient for us. Oh, I hate the... Every time with those blue mage MFers, I hate them so much. Charge wide freeze, no thank you. Uh, the damage is what I'm gonna pick up from this shop, almost almost certainly. We just need to go get it, and like, yeah, let's not go to the secret room. I like the idea of waiting for the secret rooms until the end of the floor. Do the razors always do, yeah, I think they always do uh, damage on hit, because we have burst, so it fires like three shots whenever I shoot, and then it has giant, but there is no special modifier, I guess, for them just doing damage on their own. Which I guess I thought there was. Oh. I was wondering why I couldn't move, I was stuck. Seems to be doing not that much damage though, but then again, we only have 105% damage. It's kind of why I really want to go purchase the uh, damage upgrade from that shop. It's still okay, but we really do need to kind of stack up the, stack up the, the D, the damage. What do you explode into? So the blue hat makes you explode into bullets when you die? Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind. Ah! This is, this is one of those rooms that has uh, the weird bug with uh, moving through the portals. Sometimes you can move through the portals if you go in an a, a prop, appropriate diagonal direction, then otherwise you can't. Which actually makes it kind of frustrating, but apparently it's not a bug, or at least it's not something that needs to be worried about. Razor Ring Shot Shielded. I think I'd prefer that over the razor I have right now, this is really good. Being able to fire all of your razors, even if they're not giant, I think it just means that you do more damage. Although it takes a long time, apparently, to recharge, so maybe this is not ideal. Maybe the burst was better, because the burst would at least fire three razors at once, and this is making it so that I can only fire uh, one burst of three razors instead of three bursts of three razors. So maybe this is actually a little bit worse. I don't know. I mean, it's working fine so far, but we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll keep exploring. You know, I, I mean, this does seem to be doing more damage. Like the burst, la the burst razors, not the burst lasers. The burst razors see, doesn't seem to do as much damage as ring shot uh, razors. <laughs> it's also much more ammo efficient this way, I suppose. Is it? I guess if it does more damage, it is. Hmm. This guy's gotta go first. Actually, he didn't have to go first, because he just spawns little bullets, and I can kill his bullets really quickly. It didn't really matter what we killed first. I should have been a little bit more careful there. I could have gotten hit by the uh, electricity if I wasn't paying attention. Luckily, there wasn't any electricity in the water, but it could have been. Autobomb, Stealth, Fortune. Finally we get Fortune. I wish I could buy an upgrade that makes that the first thing I get every run. Cause that's like, that's like exactly what I want. Every time. Okay, we get an extra bomb. Five, four bombs, not five bombs. Four bombs going into the boss fight's pretty good. 
Well, we're gonna expend one here, one time bomb anyways. Huh! This guy's bouncing around! Stop that! Yeah, it's okay, we'll take our, uh, our HP back. Do I have enough to buy? I don't have enough to buy the damage upgrade. Well, let's fight the boss. Ooh, we're not done yet. Excuse me. <laughs> I do want to try to get enough money to, uh, nice worm. So theoretically we have to like break his armor first to really kill him. Excuse me. Ooh, added like a laser bomb. Yeah, okay, you gotta break his armor and then you release these vulnerable spots. Still got hit, damn it. I really didn't want to take that damage because I wanted to make sure I had enough money to buy the damage upgrade, but we will be able to buy it anyways, but that is uh, a little bit annoying that I got hit there at the very end, but it's my bad. Another 5%. Another 10%, we're 125% damage, very nice. Gotta stop taking damage though. We could have had 15 HP total. That one HP could have been a part. At four parts, we get one more HP. I can't. <laughs> I'm not good enough yet to just dodge all the shots, even though I should be. You know what, just bomb it. Need to get better. I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I will say that one of the big negatives of Razor is that, well, especially with ring shot, is that if you miss, it takes so long to get your shot back. And otherwise, it just, like if you're running away from your bullets, like if you're trying to dodge, until it comes back and touches you, you can't actually shoot it again. So you have to kind of make sure that you stop for a second every once in a while to get your shot back. It's really actually kind of annoying. These block bullets, oh, that's not the button. I think these do block bullets, they're reflective. So against certain enemies, maybe I should just kind of stop moving. Gain ammo, lose ammo capacity. I mean, that's pointless because this weapon that we have right now is so efficient, it doesn't really matter, does it? This is a pretty easy room because most of the bullets are getting blocked by those platforms. Okay, upgrade me, artifact. Stealth Scanner, pow. I mean, we're probably gonna want an extra bomb recharging. It's actually pretty nice, because if you don't need to use bombs, you can kind of stock them up. I gotta be more careful around those freaking red mages. <laughs> they always get me. <laughs> I used a bomb here just because it did look like it could have been a secret room, so I just wanted to pop one. But I don't know what to think of this run. Like, we're just, we're not, you know, truly bombastic or anything. We're just kind of going through the run. We don't have, like, amazing damage. We don't have an amazing weapon yet. I'm hoping that maybe we can get an artifact. And an artifact pickup might allow us to get something truly outstanding. So far, we're just kind of moving on. The run is, is doing its own thing. I do like a situation like that with the Razor. You can just kill a bunch of enemies basically instantly. Remember, the uh, reflection of enemy bullets only works when it's idle. We have to wait for our shot to come back. This sucks when you miss. <laughs> it sucks when you miss and you gotta wait for it to come back to you. Figured. Can we block? Fire? You can block fire, okay. Good thing I didn't go through that door. Okay. You can even block the medium-sized bullets. Dude, that's why you get fortune, and that's why you get very lucky when you get fortune sometimes. That's outstanding. 10% damage upgrade, basically for free. Okay, wait. <laughs> Let the razor just destroy the bullets. I'm really hoping that I can get like a giant razor at some point, you know? It seems like it'd be outstanding. Vulcan, sword giant heavy. Heavy I don't like, 
and it's also not giant reflected, so the sword, I think, is not worth picking up. Okay, we do not destroy the big bullets. <laughs> the, what is it, meteor shots or whatever? Okay, we've gotta be careful around those. This guy should go down pretty easily. Easily. We just get ammo back, but you know, whatever. Okay. I don't want this. I don't want this. I wanna save my money for the next floor. Maybe we'll buy some really good stuff. We don't need to go to the secret room. But with full ammo capacity, we actually probably should. Because with full ammo capacity, if there is one of those, you know, max ammo or upgraded ammo pickups, we can get upgraded ammo. Or, yeah, we can get upgraded ammo. Thunderhead charges faster, freezes, disrupting, plus 35% damage against machines. Could actually be pretty good, but let's just stick with the, uh, the Razor, because I like it. It is, it's a lot of damage. That was close. <laughs> It's, ex it's just way too efficient. And also, I, I like that you can be kind of defensive sometimes. Like, hey, I want to block the, these shots. You know, I've got fireballs coming out at me. Let's just not shoot for a second. So like right here, you just can break, his, break his shit. We don't break all blocks, but we break a, a lot of blocks. So like right now, I'm just gonna not shoot for a second. You know what, I'm just gonna pop a bomb. Probably should've done, done that a while ago. Break some bullets. And I'm just I'm just standing in the corner breaking the uh, the like wall fire outlet things. Okay, just do the same thing. This fight actually might be really good with this razor deflection going on. I took damage. The thing is the razors are not giant, they don't block all bullets, they just brought block many bullets. You still have to like actually hit the boss. Ah, oh, shit. I shouldn't have bombed there, because by bombing, like, I, I actually kind of messed up the pattern. By bombing, I had to I had to think to myself, where are the bullets going to be coming? Instead of instead of just kind of naturally dodging and weaving, I kind of braked, I broke that flow. By using the bomb there, it kind of actually threw me off a little bit. Look the big boys. <laughs> We need to recover HP anyway, so it's fine going into this room. And this is actually, like, not a half-bad boss fight, because you do actually get a little bit of safety by hiding. Yeah. Like, what was that, five shots? It's just so damn efficient. I wouldn't mind picking up another weapon, but it would have to be, like, an outstanding weapon, you know? I want that. <laughs> it's gonna chuck it in and then dodge off to the side. Okay, this is the upgrade terminal. Give me an artifact, I'll take it, I want it. Salvage blink scanner. Well, we're gonna take blink. I hate getting blink this late because now I have to remember that I blink instead of just doing a, a small dodge, you know? If I got it earlier, I could at least, uh, have been getting used to that earlier. Might as well save the mini bosses. Maybe we should do them now because then we can get bombs back. Let's do it now. We'll just get ammo out of it, but you know, whatever. Oh. I don't mind getting full ammo, but it is kind of boring. Boring, especially when it's a little bit unnecessary. I haven't had a laser in a long time. I, I, <laughs> I like how I look at that guy who's like an analog for, for me, the player, and I'm thinking to myself, I haven't had a good laser run in a while. Like laser, triple shot, homing, continuous. Ooh. And again, they're trying to tempt me by like making me give up my ammo. It's like, I don't want that. Somehow we didn't take damage, even though I just stood still and tried to tank it. <laughs> I guess that's why sometimes you, you do like the, uh, the reflective. The reflective, not giant, but... 
still triple razors here. So that worked very nicely, just kind of, uh, I took damage there. Just kind of uh, let the bullets come at you. Now again, I think that giant reflective would be awesome. You have to actually get that. We do not have that, obviously. Stop moving, please. Could be a secret room to the right here. So I want to do this bit of combat just to check. Now that I have full bombs, because I want to get that bomb recharging. And let's fight a mini boss. We need HP. <laughs> ah. Yeah, you gotta die, dude. I mean, I like that we have like a safe zone, but you gotta die. <laughs> That room sucked. I should have probably just bombed it at some point. But we didn't take damage, so it's not that bad. There we go. Okay, could be a secret room in here. I'd probably want to bomb this. It's a lot of money flying around, but I can't go pick it up. Wish that it would just come to you immediately and instantly. Okay, no, 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 no. These are, these are ice ball guys. I hate ice ball bouncing curving shots. <laughs> oh, oh, infinite balls, infinite balls. Extra ammo capacity. Why is it that I always get ammo capacity? Is that like the most common drop? I guess yes, because there's multiple different um, consumables that give you max ammo, but there's only two that give you max damage, 5% and 10%. That's what I want, I want those. I don't want 20%, 10%, 5% max ammo capacity. I want the freaking damage. Pulsar, chain lightning freeze, drill, disrupting, backblast. I do like plus damage versus machines. We are gonna be fighting a machine boss, but let's skip it. Increase our max HP, and then fight the boss. Gain 400% ammo for your current weapon, lose half your maximum ammo. I mean, that's not that bad, but this thing is so damn ammo efficient, it really doesn't matter. I will buy a, a laser, and is there literally nothing else for us to buy? This has been a terrible run for shops. We picked up damage, and then that's it. I might as well get ammo capacity, and we might as well fight the boss with four blanks, bombs, whatever. Okay, we can blink. I do worry a little bit about um, shots coming. Maybe I should play defensively, you know? Abuse the, um, the defense that I get from, ah, maybe not. <laughs> Abuse the defense that I get from those uh, lasers. But without having like super giant lasers, it doesn't seem that effective. I already took two hits. Against slow bullets, it actually works quite well. Problem is when it gets um, to be a lot faster, it is actually hard to dodge. You know what, laser him. And I think the bosses also get harder attack patterns or different attack patterns sometimes as the fight goes on. My god, it would be so OP to get um, the reflecting when your shots, your razors are in air. Like you fire the ring shot and it breaks bullets. That would be so good. Oh shit. It's okay. Hate this. Pop a bomb there. I, I also extremely hate this. I don't know how to dodge this attack at all. We're out of bombs. Second phase is done. We're actually not doing half bad, but uh, half bad is not good enough. Damn it, I saw that coming in. It's there's it's too much. I can't dodge it. <laughs> There's too many bullets. Can't dodge them all. 
Should probably just use the, uh, the razor defense. How, how are you supposed to dodge all this? Is there like a pattern, like a specific pattern? My God. I know that this is hard mode, but I wanted hard mode, not <laughs> impossible mode. I just want more shops. Still have 17,000 gold. I want more shops down on this floor. You normally don't get any. You know, I'm gonna buy stuff. I also really wanted an artifact. I don't know, maybe, gi maybe giant razor is w where it's at, you know? We just need a giant razor. HP? HP up times two. Uh, green heads. I like the sound effect of you kind of in an enemy with the uh, with the razor, or the sound that the razor does uh, when it's doing its damage. It's like <sighs> there is a vault, which is really good. Um, we should wait on the vault, and we should wait on the secret room. Because we do need to probably go to, uh, yeah, you gotta go first. We probably do wanna go to the um, weapon terminal first. Not the upgrade terminal, the weapon location. Uh, just to see what we get. What the hell is this? I'm, how? I have to break both of the blocks, I guess? I would have really preferred it if I could just like, kill him. <laughs> like I was kind of hoping that the razor would actually like pierce a little bit through the wall, but it didn't. You know what? This seems tr more trouble than it's worth. Ah! These guys fire a lot of bullets. Do you have to kill them like instantly quickly as soon as you walk into the room or something? Jesus. Pulsar piercing triple wider spray. This is apparently extremely good. I kind of want to take it. Thunderhead ricochet align disrupting. Bounces off of walls moving with you. Bouncing off of walls could be amazing because you could stack them up on the screen, but you know what, let's take Pulsar. I also do want to kind of salvage the gun to get a little bit of capacity back. I've been told that Pulsar uh, is extremely good. Maybe it is uh, amazing, but maybe we maybe we need a uh, double for it to work, really. Or shotgun, uh, shotgun with uh, what we have. Let's let's try. It. Oh, wow! The game actually was nice, and it didn't, you know, make me take contact damage from that guy. It's gonna use a lot of ammo capacity. Oh, I dodged a split second too late. That's my bad. It's gonna use a lot of ammo capacity, I think, but this might be worth it. To kind of uh, swap off to a different weapon. More damage. We got more damage, 145% damage. What world is this? I need to go to the mini boss fights as soon as possible. Use my blanks and get some HP. Do we have one? Yes, we do. Thing is, the range on this is not very good, and I've gotta stay in line with an enemy. It's not like the razor where I can just kinda like shoot it and run, and let the razor uh, do damage on its own. I have to stay up in the in the enemy's grill. We do have blink, though. Okay, got some HP. Vault room, still need to find the vault room. There are no more upgrade terminals, unfortunately, so we can't get another, uh... Oh! This must be the glinty block! How much money will we get out of this? 29,170. Okay. We got like 600 bucks, or 456 bucks. Okay. I get it now. I get it now! I've never seen that guy before. Who is he? Who is that caped crusader? I feel like this uh, Pulsar wider triple might not be. I dodged in the wrong direction, but that was my bad. Might not be the best, but we'll keep using it. 
This is all about experimentation. This game, this run. You teleported into a very good spot. Gotta watch for the glint for extra money. Seven HP. Keep exploring. Actually, have we beaten the, uh, if we've beaten the, uh, the, uh, the Nimbus has been broken, all of them, then we can just finish the run. So we can just go to the secret room. Probably gonna be a key. No, a time bomb. So we actually do need to keep exploring because we need to find the key, and the key is probably gonna be in one of the room of, rooms of combat. Okay. I did not expect you. Wow, you fire a lot of bullets when you die. There's the key, so now we can leave. We don't need to keep exploring anymore. My God, he fired a lot of bullets when he died. Revolver, homing shotgun. Well, I mean, I kind of do want to get more HP back. I kind of want to just like keep exploring too. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll get some uh, HP drops, you know? It's possible. If we get, if, oh no, not this room again. You know what, bomb him. They fire so many bullets when they die. I guess what I could do is take the teleporter when he dies. Right, that's what I should be doing. I see, I see, I see. I don't see, what am I? I see, I see, I see. You gotta break that. You gotta break that. And then you follow this, and you still take damage, and then you finish the room, and then we have to fight the boss with a little bit less HP. That's fine. I had to learn how to use that room at some point. We got three bombs. Four HP. Pulsar triple wider is is good. But maybe with the with double it would be better. What is it? Piercing? Is what one of its one of its abilities piercing? I'm not I I'm not sure if it's that good though because you have to stay close to the enemy. Like wider makes it probably a little bit worse. I mean, you can just kind of hold down the button, but you can't fire from extreme range, and I like to stay at extreme range because at extreme range I can maybe block some more shit, you know? Or dodge some more shit actually. Like, I, I wanna try to get up close to the boss so I can actually hit him with the Pulsar, but as a result of trying to like weave my way in, in large circles to dodge bullets instead of just kind of dueling a back and forth dodge at the back, I end up just getting closer to the boss, taking a little bit of extra damage. So maybe, maybe taking Pulsar was the wrong idea, but it was still fun. I, w I will take Pulsar double, triple shotgun wider if it ever comes up from a artifact though, because I've been told that's amazing. Like. Super high DPS, good for speed running, but we'll see. We have 99,000. Probably not enough to buy anything. We can get, oh, we can't get Swarmer. We can't get Railgun, that's 150. I don't need seeded runs. I guess we'll just keep saving money. In which case, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monolith.